everybody welcome to my channel and my bedroom so today I want to share something really special and it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time now so I'm so glad to get to share it with you it is actually a DIY project for the famous pom-pom strappy sandals I don't know about you but I've been seeing these all over the internet all over the fashion and style bloggers pages and I just think they're freaking adorable especially for the spring and summer seasons that are coming up they add just the perfect pop of color which I particularly love I think it represents my bright personality but I don't know about you I hope that you like a bright spark of color as well in your wardrobe I think it's definitely fun and it's always nice to dress a little bit more colorful, especially when it's sunny outside, so you can match all the beautiful flowers. Let's get to it. So I actually purchased these sandals for about $20 at Windsor store, which is in the mall. And one important thing to look for when you are purchasing these sandals is that they have a fairly thin cord or lace so that you're able to apply your pom-poms, tassels, jewels, beads, whatever kind of decoration that you want to add. And I looked online and so you guys are getting a steal by doing this yourself. Not only that, but you get to customize them however you would like. You could add whatever colors that you like. You can change it out, switch it up whenever you want to, which is awesome. You can't do that with the store-bought kind. And in comparison, I only purchased these for $20, and then you have to add in your accessories, um, which isn't too much. I'd say anywhere about $10. So let's say I'm making my very own sandals for about $30, when if you would purchase them online, it would cost a whopping $80. And that's not even like name brand. So that's pretty dang good. I don't know about you girls, but I like deals. I like finding good finds and you know sales all that kind of stuff so why not just do it yourself it makes it fun it gives you something to do when you're bored at home and it's just so awesome you could have and sport these awesome colorful sandals so I want to show you how stay tuned and if you cho choose to do it yourself and you find any other ways to do it just let me know and I would just love to to know what makes it easier. So of course we first need our very own sandals and we also need some pom-poms. So I just picked out these uh, small to medium sized pom-poms that have a variety of colors. You can do whatever colors you'd like and then it's best to apply them with these um, gold or silver, or silver, whatever you choose jump rings. These are just little circles. They have an opening so you can um, add them on. I actually did it with these pom-poms. I just super glued, or not super glued, but hot glued them um, onto the pom-poms themselves and I can slip them onto the laces that way. Or you can also purchase these round ball plates or you can, they're pendant plates so you can glue jewels or whatever kind of pendant you'd like but I figured it's perfect size to glue on a pom-pom as you can see so that's another way to do it and it has a fairly large opening on the side so that you can easily slip it on your lace one more thing that I really wanted to add to mine was tassels I don't know about you but I'm totally digging and loving these tassels one creative way that I thought that I can add these tassels was by either using the o-rings or by using a lobster clasp if you use a lobster clasp you have a great option of clipping your pom-poms on and off as you please so we will get into that um, and we'll see how to do it all i also purchased this this is actually a headband by the way, I picked up most of my items at Hobby Lobby, which is a great craft store. Another place you can go is Michael's or any other craft store, but I think, I believe that Hobby Lobby has the best deals and the biggest variety. 
So this is just a cute little headband. It has a tribal print. It also has some beads on there. And I just figured that this would be perfect to add a little bit of pizzazz to the pom-pom sandals. I realized that the pom-pom sandals you buy online also does have a print like this going along the front end of the sandal. So I thought it would be cool and make it even more similar to the ones that you can purchase online. And then of course, you're just going to want some scissors and a hot glue gun. One more thing is you can always add feathers, beads, or any other kind of jewels or any pizzazz that you would like to add. So we're just gonna get started by adding this on. So I just wanna make sure I cut it the right length. And you may want to do it just a little bit longer so you can fold the ends underneath so that it won't come undone and glue it on that way. So we just glued the ends down and then all we want to do is just add some more super glue to the side right here and attach it onto the corner of the shoe. I'm just choosing to do it on the top part right here only because I don't have enough of this material but you can also add it to the sides right here which I think is really cute. You can do it whatever way you want, which is awesome because customizing and designing your own things is so much fun. I don't know about you, but if you think it's fun, give me a thumbs up, baby, and subscribe to my channel over here or over here, wherever it will be. And so yeah, that's that. And then I'm just gonna glue the other side down as well to the other side. I'm not gonna glue the entire thing. That way, if I get tired of this look, I can just pop this baby off and I can just take these, whoops, that flew away, these little pom-poms off and I can just be like, I just want to rock plain sandals again. I'm tired of this pop of color or it doesn't match my outfit. So I'm just choosing to do it that way. You can glue it on permanently, but I'm just so in love with these sandals that I just don't know if I'm ready to give them up. Like, look at them. They're so cute. They're just tan and that perfect color that will just match pretty much any outfit so that's that and secondly we're just gonna have to undo our laces and once you undo your laces you're ready to add your decor on whatever way that you please which is just so wonderful So I'm just going to unlace them to almost the bottom, not completely to the bottom. And then I'm just going to start adding my pom-poms, my tassels. All you do is just slide it on your loop. Go ahead and put it to the next loop. You could add multiple pom-poms or tassels to each side if you like. I'm choosing to keep it a little bit more simple, not too crazy because Hey, that color adds a lot of pizzazz and we don't need to overdo it too much. Hey, but everyone has different tastes, so I'm not trying to limit you if that's what you want to do. Also, I think it's quite cool because you can do each of your sandals differently. You could add different colors. All right, that's it. You've made it to the end of the video. Well, almost. You didn't get to see what they look like yet. So this is my beautiful creation. I finished them up and that's how they look. I cannot wait to wear them and be extra bold, colorful, and beautiful this spring and summertime. And I hope that it inspired you guys to try it yourself or maybe just some other kind of craft that you may have in mind. But if you have any questions, comments, or requests, just put it down in the comment box below. And please don't forget to subscribe and like my video. If you'd like to see me wearing these beauties, then just go ahead and follow me on my Instagram page, Chelsea's Look. 
and there are no apostrophes or spaces. So Chelsea's look on Instagram, and I'm sure you'll be seeing me wearing these soon. So I hope that you enjoyed, and blessings to you. I will see you next time. Good night, goodbye, or good day. Take care, you guys.